It was a cold day today. We're starting to get a little bit more high cloudiness moving overhead, and that may change our forecast for the overnight period. I'll talk about that in a second. Dew point 26, very dry air. If you find your hands are now cracking, that's the reason why dew points very low. Still strong winds out of the north at about 14 miles an hour. Current temperature at Canada is 46. Already in the 30s at Hammond, Macomb, Bogalusa, and over in Baton Rouge, and temperatures are going to continue to drop. Now, wind advisory has been lifted for the area. However, winds are still pretty brisk, but they will be diminishing through the night tonight and into tomorrow. So on the south shore, now this is based on a computer model. The computer model is not indicating the airport getting to below freezing or even to freezing. And I think there are going to be a lot of locations in the city itself that will not see freezing temperatures. Now on the north shore, maybe as soon as 9, 10 o'clock, we may be at or below freezing and we're going to stay there and get even colder through the overnight. The core of the cold has really spread from more than northern tier states to now the Ohio River Valley and the Great Lakes and all of that air mass has moved uh, has sunk farther south. But what's interesting is that air mass is already starting to shift away and we are going to see a gradual warming trend. Look at this though on satellite. This is what I wanted to point out. This southwesterly flow is helping to bring back some cloud cover and unless these clear out through the overnight period, these higher clouds at night, the clouds act as a blanket and actually kind of trap heat at the surface and prevent us from getting as cold as we could get. So if the clouds stick around through the overnight period, maybe just maybe those temperatures won't be getting quite as cold as we're expecting. Now this model doesn't really pick up on any of those higher clouds, and I do think we're going to see a lot of sunshine to start the day tomorrow. Then clouds will be working their way back in through the afternoon and evening on Wednesday, and then by Thursday we're going to be watching this little gulf disturbance develop and may send a few isolated showers. I don't think rain chances Thursday are going to be all that great, but kind of a colder day staying in the 50s with a few isolated showers and then a weak front will move on through kind of helping to clear us out for Friday and then Friday and going into the weekend a lot of sunshine. But as I mentioned, a gradual warm up, but not exactly warm temperatures. Again, our freeze is on the way for tonight on both sides of the lake, hard freeze north of the lake. Then by Thursday morning, notice 30s and 40s, no longer any freezing temperatures we will stay in the 50s for a high through Saturday back into the 60s by Sunday and into early next week. But as far as the freezing temperatures go, tonight is the only night that we really have to worry about that. And again, for folks on the North Shore, mm -hmm. that's the area that I would make sure that pipes are protected <laughs> just to air on the side of caution. I don't think it's going to be a huge concern but you better be safe than sorry. Yeah, Make sure they're protected totally. south of the lake. That really is not going to be an issue. And this weekend looks just about perfect. Yes, and then very so nice for that. the weekend. Again, we got <laughs> one freezing night and that is tonight. No excuse not to vote then. That's right. All right. That's our news. At five.